In this video I'll do a performance comparison between ESBuild SWC and Babel. ESBuild and SWC are based on Go and Rust respectively, and in theory they should be more performant than any Node.js based tool in computationally intensive tasks, such as compiling and bundling JavaScript. My methodology is to benchmark these tools on open source projects of different sizes. My idea is that these projects represent well the average project sizes of web components and web applications that the users of these tools will use them for. I've included Bootstrap, or more specifically the JavaScript components in the Bootstrap library, to represent a smaller UI library of components. I've also included MatJS as a representative of a library of utility functions rather than UI components. It's also relatively small compared to the other libraries in the list. Material components for the web or a material design library of components represents a larger UI components library than Bootstrap and 3JS is a large JavaScript 3D library. For this comparison, ESBuild, SWC and Babel are configured as closely as possible with the same browser targets and minification turned off. Let's take a look at the results. The results for Bootstrap already show that SWC and ESBuild are significantly faster than Babel. Here, SWC is also faster than ESBuild, but you'll see later in the other benchmarks that these differences even out as the project size grows. With MatJS, we see very similar results. Both SWC and ESBuild did almost the same times as they did with Bootstrap, but as the MatJS library is a little bit larger than the Bootstrap JavaScript, Babel did even worse this time finishing in 1.36 seconds. The material design components library is almost 10 times larger than Bootstrap, and we see a very different picture here. SWC is now slower than ESBuild. Both SWC and ESBuild still maintain their significant performance advantage compared to Babel, which is now even slower. One important remark here is that the material design components library is written in TypeScript. 3JS is very roughly the same size as the Material Design Components library, and here we see a very similar picture, although 3JS is not written in TypeScript, but in vanilla JavaScript. Here, ESBuild is again the fastest build tool, with SWC coming in second. Babel continues to be the slowest build tool by a large margin. I did not find the need to experiment with larger projects as they are very rare. These libraries represent well the average size of a web application or components library. I can draw the following conclusions from these experiments. Both SWC and ESBuild significantly outperform Babel, and the difference becomes even more dramatic as the project size grows. SWC seems to be doing particularly well with very small projects, at less than 300 kilobytes, such as the Bootstrap JavaScript and MatJS. But as the project size grows, the difference between SWC and ESBuild becomes non-existent, and ESBuild even outperforms SWC slightly in these specific examples. I would say, based on these results, that it's viable to consider SWC or ESBuild for your build process. There seems to be a significant performance difference between them and the Node.js-based build tools such as Babel. On the other hand, I would not choose between SWC and ESBuild based on performance. We cannot draw clear conclusions as to which tool is faster based on these results. In addition, the differences seem to be very minor. I would rather choose the two which has more appropriate features for my use case out of the two of them. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when another video is released. Take care.